Men I don't know, man. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing the double flamed Swiss triplet. If you think of the name or you listen to the name, obviously there are components to it that we've probably talked about before. Uh, some other guys have probably done some things like this. Um, so those basic key components are really, really important before you go into playing the rudiment. The left hand side is really kind of like a shuffle exercise or another kind of a double beat exercise in triplet form. The right hand side is a little more challenging because it's continuous in its motion. There's absolutely no breakdown uh, as far as you stopping your hand. The first note is, is accented and the following two notes are kind of uh, lower notes, tap notes, bounce notes if you will, uh, all the while bouncing and rebounding to make sure that you aren't tense and the quality of sound is speaking correctly. The second low note, so in the grouping of three, you've got the first note which is accented and then the two low notes. The second of the two low notes is actually the grace note of the left hand turnaround. Grace note, grace note. So along with the triplet and the Swiss, you've got the double flam, and that's the double flam Swiss triplet. So we're talking about flams, okay? Isolating flams is a huge thing. Obviously, it's a basic rudiment that we all need to be able to play as percussionists. The end of the rudiment is the fla fla, or you know, the part of the patty fla fla, and this is really important for the rudiment to be able to flow uh, correctly. So working fla flas are just flam 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 flam. Uh, is really important so that it flows. So now I'll just kind of play you an, an easy exercise starting with a check which is the, the flam accent, okay, check, and then into the double flam Swiss triplet. I hope you didn't get it on camera. Did you get that on camera? I can't even talk. <laughs>